Weird things happen everywhere and the world of football is not exempt at all. In this video today, we bring you 9 of the most bizarre football facts you've ever heard of. Some will have you utterly shocked, while some are just straight up hilarious. But best believe every single thing happened. Nothing was made up. Let's get right to it, shall we? Number 1. Lewandowski to Blackburn Did you know that the latest Ballon d'Or runner-up and European Golden Shoe winner nearly played for Blackburn Rovers? And no, we're not talking just usual transfer rumours, the deal was actually very close to being finalised. His flight was already arranged to go to see Big Sam, Blackburn's manager at the time, in Lancashire. Bear in mind that Lewandowski was not yet a global superstar at the time. He was playing for Lech Poznan, a club in a not very popular Polish league. So he was surely not bigger than the move to Blackburn. Sam Allardyce himself discovered the Polish forward and was very keen on bringing him over to England. However, Levy's flight had to be cancelled because of a volcanic ash cloud. For a week, nobody in Europe could fly and it was right there that the deal fell through. You think perhaps that was a sign from the gods of football that the Polish marksman was destined for bigger things. Of course, no disrespect to Blackburn. Lewandowski said himself that if he had gone to Blackburn, he just may have ended up staying there. And that move alone would have put Robert on a completely different career path. Who knows where he would be right now? Would we even have had a Ballon d'Or conversation with his name involved? Who knows? Well, that year he went on to sign a deal with Borussia Dortmund and the rest, as they say, is history. Number 2. AC Milan Cricket Club Speaking of history, do you really know the history of AC Milan? Milan are one of the most successful football clubs in Europe, but they started out as a cricket club founded by an Englishman. The story is a pretty long one, but here's the summary. Herbert Kilpin, an English lace maker born in Nottingham, travelled to Italy for work. There he started working for Eduardo Bozio, a textile merchant who later founded Torino, the first club in Italy. Kilpin ended up playing for Torino for a couple of years and then moved to Milano where he was with many other Englishmen. And then on one of those nights while they were drinking and reminiscing about cricket, the game they used to love and enjoy playing in their country, they decided to establish a cricket club and there AC Milan was founded. It was first called Milan Cricket and Football Club and their first president was Alfred Edwards, while Kilpin himself served as manager for both the cricket and the football teams. We bet you never knew this little piece of history about the club with the second most Champions League trophies in history. Number 3. The CR7 Galaxy Speaking of Champions League history, the highest goal scorer in the history of the competition is out of this world. Everybody knows that Cristiano Ronaldo is not of this planet. And guess what? Astronomers just went ahead and confirmed it for us. Dr. David Sorbard, along with a couple of other astronomers sometime in 2015, discovered a galaxy which, according to them, has existed for about 13 billion years. They named that galaxy CR7 and admitted that it was inspired by the five-time Ballon d'Or winner. It may be explained it a little that Dr. Sorbal is Portuguese, Cristiano is probably his idol, and that was his way of honouring him. Well, it is Cristiano's galaxy, we're all just living in it. Except we actually aren't. Number 4. Asteroid Cruyff While a Real Madrid legend had a galaxy named after him, a Barcelona legend had his name given to an asteroid. The asteroid, which previously had a rather boring name, 14282, was renamed after a science journalist, Karl Kupischer, started a petition to name it after the Dutch football legend, Johan Cruyff. So, not only does Cruyff have a lasting legacy in Barcelona and Ajax, he apparently also has a legacy in outer space. The man was really and truly out of this world, wasn't he? By the way, wouldn't you like to see what happens if Cruyff were to hit CR7? Oh, and by the way, Cruyff is not the only football manager to have had an asteroid named after him. Ian P. Griffin, who is a huge Arsenal fan, discovered an asteroid in 1998 and named it after legendary Arsenal boss Arsene Wenger. Number 5. A Bomb-Ass Gunner Speaking of Arsenal fans, you would not believe who was a huge gunner back in the day. You could take a whole hour to guess and still won't be able to conjure up the name Osama Bin Laden. One of the most notorious murderers in the history of mankind apparently had a soft spot for the North London club. Reports have it that Osama was even in the famous Highbury Stadium back then in the 90s 
to watch Arsenal play live a couple of times. Imagine having sat beside the man who was going to blow up the Twin Towers in a couple of years. It was even reported that Osama used football on a couple of occasions as some sort of recruitment tactic. It's pretty sad how much this man bastardized our beautiful game, but anyway, we're glad he's only old news now. Number 6. Kuba's Horror Jakub Blasikowski, also popularly called Kuba, did not have the most glamorous growing up story. As a matter of fact, with what he experienced, we are just so happy that he turned out okay. When he was only a child, Kuba witnessed a horrible tragedy which turned his life around. His father stabbed his mother right there in his home and that left 10-year-old Jakub in a complete and utter shock. His father went to prison for the murder and that meant that for most of his life, he grew up without either of his parents. He and his older brother were practically raised by their grandmother. Because of all that happening so early in his life, Jakub gave up on football. But after encouragement from his uncle, who is a former captain of the Poland national team, he got back playing. Till today, Blasikowski credits his success to his grandmother. And if you notice, he often looks to the sky during his goal celebrations. That's him dedicating every goal to his mother. Number 7. Super Chicharito In 2012, it was reported by a police officer in Mexico that each time Javier Hernandez, popularly known by his nickname Chicharito, played, crime rates dropped noticeably. Hernandez, who was born in and started his football career in Mexico, was playing with Manchester United at the time. And the police officer reported that each time the Mexican Wonderboy was on TV representing his club or country, crime rates significantly dropped. According to him, they recorded less muggings, carjackings and robberies every time Chicharito was playing. And guess what? He also reported that birth rates go up. Hmm, Super Chicharito was really out there saving and expanding his hometown. Number 8. Alex's Sweet Home We all love a large family, don't we? Especially during the holiday season. But how large is perhaps too large? Maybe 20 including cousins? 25? Well, that means you might not have loved Christmas at Alex Song's family in that case. Alex Song, who played for Arsenal and Barcelona, was born into a very large family. Go ahead, try to guess how many siblings the Cameroonian has. Did you guess 27? You probably didn't. Well, he does have 27 siblings, 17 sisters and 10 brothers. Wow! Alex Song literally has more siblings than he has professional goals and that's huge for someone who's been playing professional football for almost 20 years. But well, Alex has said several times that he loves his mom and every one of his siblings very much. Unfortunately, he lost his dad when he was just three years old and so didn't get to know him very well. Number 9. Maradona played for Spurs We are not making this up at all. The great Diego Maradona once played for Tottenham Hotspur at White Hart Lane. Yes, it was only a testimonial game, but it was still such a massive deal. Imagine Lionel Messi turning up at the King Power in a Leicester City shirt for a testimonial game. It might be just one night of football, but it would be a memory that would last forever. Diego was in London that night to honour Osvaldo Ardiles, his former teammate at Argentina. You could tell that Ardiles meant a lot to Maradona because Maradona hopped on the plane to England straight from a World Cup warm-up game against Norway. The great Argentinian had no rest but still dazzled in his lone game at White Hart Lane. He gave all the Spurs fans present that night something to remember and cherish for life. May his soul rest in peace. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our new videos. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.